All right, let's find the domain and the range for this function here. It's kind of a, an interesting looking function. And the domain and the range will be, actually the domain will be a little bit more complicated than what we're used to, but let's go for it. The smallest value for x that exists here appears to be negative four, and it is negative four. Then, um, Normally we're going to be looking for the greatest value of x after that, but we have a break in the graph here. So x basically goes from negative 4 all the way to negative 2. So here are the values that exist for x so far. Then there's a break between negative 2 and negative 1. So x takes no value between those two. So it begins again at negative 1 and goes all the way to positive 5. So this is the domain. So the domain is x is in between negative 4 and negative 2, then between negative 1 and positive 5. So how are we going to write that? Well, x such that x is in between negative 4 and negative 2, including both negative 4 and negative 2, comma, in between negative 1 and positive 5. That's it. What about the range? The range will be a little bit simpler. Let me pick a different color here. Looks like the smallest value for y is negative 2. And there are no interruptions in this case, right? We go all the way up to 3 smoothly with no interruptions. So the y values that exist here are between negative 2 and positive 3. So in between negative 2 and positive 3. That's it.